Well, to be able to come out here in the off season and participate in AAU nationals and all other AAU tournaments in the off season, it's a, it's a great feeling. Uh, first of all, I've been a part of AAU since I was in sixth grade. And I'll never forget my first experience at Nationals. It was one of a kind, and it's one that I've cherished. It's one that I share with my student athletes now today. And uh, it's something that they look back on, and uh, you never forget. You never forget your first AAU game, and you never forget your last. And uh, I tell you what, we've been having fun ever since. And as an NBA player, you know, some players come out, they donate money to the team, and they go. Me, I'm hands on. I like to be here with the girls, out here in the fire, fighting and competing. Uh, and playing hard. Well, it's a fine line between me getting out here and playing and then me actually sitting back coaching and helping uh, these young ladies uh, achieve their goals. Uh, it's one that I enjoy and the competitive nature uh, in me uh, just makes me want to win. And I, I think what it does, it keeps my basketball mind sharp uh, and I'm able to go out and, and also coach because coaching is something that I aspire to do uh, when I'm done playing. I just think it's the presentation. I mean, AAU puts on great events. Uh, not only is it a great competitive atmosphere, but it's good teaching uh, learning tools for my girls. Uh, you meet different girls from all across the country. You know, those relationships you'll look back on and you'll say, wow, I remember you at sixth grade nationals. Look at you now, you're at D1. You got a scholarship too? I did too. So, you know, those experiences are ones that you'll cherish forever.